Hey folks, Matt Kluskowski here with the National Association of Photoshop Professionals, and uh, we're gonna take a look at a very, very quick and simple uh, Lightroom tip for you here when it comes to uh, going through your photos, okay? So that's, that's probably, probably one of the most important things. Whenever I teach my Lightroom seminar, um, you always see people you know, grab, grab their notes, grab their pens and paper when we talk about going through your photos very quickly and some of the ways that Lightroom has to help you do that. And if you look over here under the photo menu, uh, you'll see that we have flags, we also have ratings, and we have color labels. So you've got flags, basically pick, rejected, Ratings, which is your one through five star rating system, and then your color labels, you know, red, yellow, green, blue, purple. Uh, well, one of the things is everybody's got their own ways of, of going through their photos. Personally, I like the flagging system because it lets me, lets me just figure out, do I like it or don't I like it? All right, I don't have to have different degrees of liking it. If you think of the star rating system, you know, five stars is really good, four stars is pretty good, three stars is meh. Two stars is, it sucks, but it doesn't suck quite as bad as the one star photos. And what I find is, is, is when you use the star rating system, you end, up, you end up spending a whole lot of time figuring out what star this photo should be. When really, do you like it or don't you like it? So that's why I like the flags. So what we would normally do here is we, we'd come up to a group of photos in the library module, and, uh, and I'd, I'd hit P if I like it, P for pick uh, is the way that I remember that keyboard shortcut. So P, uh, if I, hit the right arrow key, go to the next one. If I don't like it, I'd hit X for reject, and that rejects the photo. So that, that's how we go through the photos, but it, this all hinges on you hitting the right arrow key each time. Uh, so there's a great little shortcut inside of Lightroom if this works for your workflow, and I, I find it works for mine pretty well, that if you come up here to the photo menu, uh, you're gonna see this very hidden and almost impossible to ever like stumble across auto advance option. So what auto advance does is that when I, you know, so I'm on a photo here, if I don't like it, I hit the letter X for reject. Watch what happens, it goes to the next photo, so it rejects the previous photo, automatically advances to the next photo. So again, if I don't like it, hit the letter X. If I like it, I hit the letter P. And if you look down here in the film strip, you'll be able to see, watch it, I'm gonna hit the letter P again. And you can see it, it flags the previous photo, but then it auto advances and it jumps to the next photo. So next time that you're going through your photos and you're trying to be quick about it, you don't have a whole lot of time, go turn on that auto advance option because it really does help you move through a lot of photos very quickly without having to get your hands and, and fingers all over the keyboard and, and, uh, and kind of you know, remembering too many different keyboard shortcuts. My name is Mac Laskowski. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.